So are you new to Escape from Tarkov or maybe just wondering what the heck is this game? Tarkov is a hardcore realistic survival game. It's also a horror game. Your main goal is to survive and get to a specific extraction point designated on the map, but also trying to loot and find the best gear possible before you escape. This can be done by searching different objects around the map or by killing other players and stealing their loot. Now, if you die before you get to your extraction point, you lose all of your loot and everything you had on you. However, if you survive and extract successfully, you get to keep all of that glorious loot. Now, I'm still very new to Tarkov, but I'm gonna be sharing in this video some tips and tricks that I learned along the way that have helped me a lot so far. In Escape from Tarkov, you can either choose to play as a SCAV, short for scavenger, or a PMC, short for private military company. A PMC is your character with your gear that you can set at the menu. A SCAV has a set of randomized gear that the game generates for you. Usually it's very minimal with little to no heals or a bad weapon, but the upside is if you die during your match or raid, as it's called in this game, and lose everything, that gear was technically never yours to begin with, so there's less pressure to survive. Survive. Playing as a scav has a 20 minute cooldown, but I suggest playing as often as you can. Other scavs you see in your raid are a mix between AI and other players. AI scavs will not shoot you unless you shoot at them first, so be careful. A quick tip when doing a scav run is that since the game gives you random gear, check your inventory right away to see if you have a labs keycard or any keys. These can be super, super valuable, so try to extract with them to either keep or sell. Now, Escape from Tarkov has several different maps to choose from. I recommend starting with the maps that your tasks dictate. Tasks are like mini objectives within each raid that you do. Things like get 15 scav kills on customs. If you complete them, you earn rewards like money, XP, or gear. You can start them by going to each trader and clicking on the task tab near the top. Traders are pretty self-explanatory. You can buy and sell gear to them. Each trader has different prices that you can sell your items for, so be sure to check multiple before you sell to ensure that you're getting the best deal. Now, I highly suggest that when you start that you do offline runs. Once you select your map, hit the next button until you can select offline mode. This means that you can take in any gear and if you die, you won't lose it. However, if you extract successfully, you also don't get to keep any loot that you find, but it's great for setting keybinds and your sensitivity and all that when you first start out and getting to know a map. Now I have a map pulled up on a second monitor when I'm playing to help me know where I'm going because it can be super confusing, especially at first. Maps are linked below in the description. You can play with friends in Escape from Tarkov, but since this is a hardcore game, there is no designation anywhere around your teammate that shows that they are indeed your teammate. They can look just like an enemy, so be very wary of friendly fire. Okay. There's a guy here! Oh, that's me! Oh! Take my key card. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I knew it would happen. <laughs> you can buy an armband from the trader Ragman that your team can put on to help you see each other better. When I first started out in Escape from Tarkov, I liked doing pistol only runs or zero to hero where you start with minimal gear in the hopes of finding better stuff and not risking anything valuable in the process. These can be very hard to do, but very rewarding if successful. The quality of your ammo matters in this game, and while this is something that I'm still learning, this ammo chart has helped me out a ton. I will link it below in the description. Basically, cheaper ammo doesn't have as good armor penetration, so you may unload a clip into an enemy's chest only to have them turn around and one-shot you. This can happen because you are using ammo with a low penetration value, so just be mindful of that. Speaking of ammo, Tarkov doesn't have an overlay that shows you how much ammo you have left in your clip, so pressing Alt plus T is a great way to check that. Now a little tip for making more money is when you want to sell a weapon, disassemble it first by right clicking and sell the parts individually. First sell what you can to the trader skier and whatever is left to the mechanic for a higher profit than just selling the gun. When you click on a character, the right hand side of the screen shows your stash. This is all of your gear, like a bank account. You can quickly move items from your character to your stash by pressing control plus click or alt plus click. 
alt plus click will move armor, helmets, backpacks, and control plus click will move basically anything else like your smaller items. This also works for looting enemies' bodies. When you do this to move items from your character to the stash, it'll sort everything to the very first open space available. So I highly recommend moving everything down when you first start and leaving some space up at the top so that you can keep track of everything when you're sorting quickly. Then you can possibly organize later if you wish. Stacking backpacks is a great way to save space when looting bodies or organizing your stash. Backpacks inside of backpacks inside of backpacks inside of just all the backpacks. You can hotkey items by hovering over them with your mouse and then pressing the corresponding number on your keyboard, for example, four, five, or six. But these items must be in your pockets in order to hotkey. You might be able to place them in your rig and hotkey them, I'll have to double check. Same with grenades, they gotta go in your pockets as well, but G also throws a grenade. There is so much to talk about when it comes to Escape from Tarkov, but I'll wrap up this video with a final tip. Listening for sound cues is super critical in this game. I like to slow walk or slow crouch by pressing caps lock. This quiets your own footsteps, making it harder for enemies to locate you while also giving you the chance to hear your enemies better and get the upper hand in an engagement. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more Escape from Tarkov content, make sure you leave a like, all right? And if you're brand new, don't forget to drop a sub. Also, leave me a comment down below if you have any tips and tricks for new players as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love ya to the moon and back, and we'll see you in the next one.